What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be checking out the uh, new arrivals section of DLT Trading. If you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, um, I am constantly, constantly scrolling through different retailers new arrivals section. I'm constantly trying to keep updated on everything that's coming out and periodically I do a video like this if I think uh, one of the retailers has a really interesting new arrival section uh, where there's a whole bunch of stuff for you guys to check out and DLT has a ton of cool stuff right now. I will be linking DLT trading right down in the description right at the top so you can actually, if you don't want to watch this video, if you don't want to watch me go through and give my commentary, that's totally fine. I get it. Uh, I'll link this page right at the top of my description so you can go through and check for yourself. And uh, any items of uh, particular interest, I will link them individually so that you can go right to them. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you'd like to check out my Patreon, that's down in the description as well. And uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. First off, if you guys don't know, this is my personal, this is where I go to check out Hinder stuff because they have so much of it. If you've got a Hinder or you're looking into a Hinder and you're thinking about customizing it, uh, this, is, this place has so much stuff hinder stuff it's just it's awesome uh so <laughs> this is going to be somewhat of a hinderer heavy video but there's other things here as well uh some new uh hinderer extreme duty pens and investigator pens these are in uh black aluminum we've got battle bronze titanium and blue titanium yes they're expensive i know they've been expensive for a long time uh some filler tabs if you're looking for uh battle bronze or battle blue this is interesting. If you've got a Hinder Eclipse, we've got natural micarta scales. Uh, that's pretty cool. Whether you want smooth or you want something that is textured, um, I've seen a lot of uh, knives, a lot of Hinder knives pop up on the Hinder uh, uh, collectors and users group on Facebook. Uh, some really awesome photos with these pictures uh, in, in real light. Oh, I'm sorry, really awesome photos with these scales in real light. They look excellent. In particular, oh, these uh, burgundy canvas micarta scales just to me they really stand out and are so beautiful. They're expensive, but if you're looking to you know kind of create a more vintagey look uh, with your with your hinder, whether it's an eclipse or th there's some micarta scales for the XM in here too. Um, highly recommendable. I, let me see if I can actually click on these and give you guys a close up. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. I think this will load. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I, uh, I'm big into that. I, there's definitely more hinder knives coming, you know, for my collection down the road, and I'm seriously considering picking up one of those micarta scales for something. I don't know anything about the CAS knives uh, hatchets. I do know that they made that crazy sword and showed it on Instagram a while back. That is literally the only thing I know about uh, CAS knives, or I'm saying CAS because I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, moving on here, RGT Spider Coast scales in uh, different uh, forms of micarta. I thought you guys might find this interesting. Uh, Spider Coast Para 3, they actually have PM2 scales in here as well. Whole bunch of different uh, colors and sort of, I guess, textures, right? Burlap micarta, we've got black uh, linen micarta, red, right? Whole bunch of stuff. There's even, you know, additional like uh, the, uh, well, these are, these are the skinny mod scales that I, for whatever reason, could just not figure out when I <laughs> had one of these on my channel. But it's the, this area in here is much more straight and it does not have the sort of bump. Let's see if I can give you guys more of a close up. I like these black canvas. I think this, these would look really great with some bronze titanium hardware, um, which you can find out. Uh, sign up for product alerts, by the way, if you are waiting on something like the AD20. Uh, I think DLT might be a good place to sign up for email notifications if that's something you're waiting on. But yeah, you guys kind of get the idea here. Uh, contrasting with, um, you know, some different color hardware that you can get through Flytanium or I think XXX Adrenaline on eBay has some pretty cool stuff. They've also got scales for the bug out. So if you're tired of, you know, carbon fiber, G10, uh, Grivery and titanium, and you want to do a different look for your bug out, They've got these for the bug out as well. So this is pretty cool. There's a lot to choose from right now. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check those out. Always a plentiful supply of Microtech knives. Always. I could, I could link just the Microtech section and give you guys something to look at for an hour. Um, hinders. Right now, the exclusive that is available is the Swedge Spear. I think they've actually got quite a few more than what's showing right here. I'll show this one right here. I owned this knife a long time ago. The first time they actually uh, released it, I owned this knife. So this one is 
get a look at the uh, blade shape here in just a second. <laughs> Hinder Knives product alerts, also a good idea. You can see here how they do the blade. Heavy, deep swedge, making the tip much more puncture friendly. Not nearly as much thickness out at the tip. I'll give you guys a look here. You can see versus like the Spanto, uh, not, not nearly as aggressively thick. This one in particular is in bronze. Uh, titanium, really nice looking. And then of course you have the option to order uh, different color hardware, same as usual. Pretty cool. That's the exclusive that's available right now. If you've been thinking about picking up an XM18, that is definitely a good one to check out. Some interesting heretic knives there, the Wraith. Uh, I'm not super familiar with them, but I'm hoping to become more familiar in the future. Uh, the new Finch uh, Holiday, this is actually coming to the channel. I'm excited to check that one out. Bradford Guardian 3s in a sheep's foot blade. These are in uh, crew wear. Yeah, I think that's actually a DLT trading exclusive. So if you like the, the Bradford Guardian and you like the idea of it being in crew wear, then that's one to check out. I think the sheep's foot blade looks pretty cool. Moving on here, getting things loaded up. Um, oh gosh, I thought the, uh, the Bounty Hunter, I thought that might, the Exocet Bounty Hunter might be um, available. Medford Praetorian Slim Flippers, which is different than the one that I reviewed. If you're interested in that, those are available there. Lots of Medfords. They do the uh, standard, you know, S35VN and then the DLT Trading Exclusive, I think. Uh, I think, well, these are all DLT Trading Exclusives. Interesting. Um, but they also do the S90V thing with Medford. So check those out if you didn't know about that. Uh, let's see here. What was the next thing that I wanted to show you guys? Oh, yeah. Whole bunch of Curtis knives. A ton of Curtis knives on DLT trading. These are definitely on the more expensive side. But if you're looking for like the Nano, it's not really that. I mean, if you're comparing like the F3 Compact right here in Damasteel, obviously that's a super expensive knife. But if you're looking something more, you know, I don't know, just micro sort of compact and practical and not like, you know, overly expensive, then the Nano, you know, comes in fairly reasonable considering these are, you know, custom knives, 225 bucks. This one right here is pretty sweet. Uh, the, uh, the milling that they've got, I actually want to check that out real quick. Normally my thing is not little tiny knives, but I do love Curtis knives. I've reviewed them before and their quality is just outstanding. Um, I'm a big fan of this cyan anodizing on the pivot and the textured titanium. You can see on the other side, it actually translates to the pocket clip and the hardware. These have steel lock bar inserts, all that. Um, yeah, Curtis custom knives, excellent. I've handled them. Actually, you can go around YouTube and check out other reviewers uh, who have checked out Curtis custom knives. And I think uh, opinions will be largely the same. Uh, uh, he, he definitely uh, makes amazing knives. Uh, the fastball cleaver in uh, Coyote, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check the specs real quick here. Uh, how do we get the specs? Yeah, there we go. CPM 20 CV. Aluminum and CBM 20 CV for $114.99. These are made in the USA. Good job. Good job, Gerber. I seriously, I think that's excellent. Nice job on that. Pick that knife up. Uh, I handled one and loved it. You guys are uh, going to get the review here soon. They have done a few of those in S30V and, uh, uh, and then these newer ones in 20 CV. So I think that's excellent. Right now, the Spartan Blades, Asterns, and Talos, these are the Bronze Series knives, are out of stock, but I would imagine that there will be more of those coming soon. They also have a, health, a healthy supply of Protec knives. This is a good place to come for Protec knives. Calmigo, interesting Godfather in uh, gray handled uh, titan or I'm sorry, aluminum and carbon fiber. If you own a uh, Jake Hoback Quayback and you're interested in a Mokutai Backspacer, they have a whole bunch of them. They're very expensive, but Mokutai tends to be expensive, so... If you're an owner of the Quayback, then that's something that you can uh, take a look at. Moving on here, there are a pair of three scales that are not skinny mod. So if you're not interested in the skinny mod, uh, there you go. And then they also have PM2 scales in uh, these RG. I'm, this it's interesting. This RGT uh, scale. I get. I don't know if they're just scales or if they do other things. Um, but yeah, totally reasonable price on these two. Fifty nine bucks. If you're looking for burlap, green linen, brown, etc., there's a whole bunch of them. Not a bad price. If you've uh, been looking for a Menandi, I have one of these, I think this one exactly somebody sent in, 
and these are excellent very expensive but u.s made and you're looking at uh you know exotic materials you're looking at titanium you're looking at damascus beautiful damascus by the way on top of that we have more uh unique small subensa 31s so if you've been looking for one of those those are here this guy right here this oh my gosh i have this in hand as well spider codelica 4 in red and black zone which honestly looks really cool in person this is a 20 cv blade right there you can see it this is a dlt trading exclusive uh yeah I, I would if i were you if you're looking for something you know that's high performance good edc profile obviously the delica excellent edc profile right you don't want to break the bank 105 bucks yeah i think this is an exclusive i can easily recommend uh i i really like dlt trading's exclusive that's the exclusives that's why I set up the affiliate program with them. I've been shopping with them forever. Um, I just really like DLT, and I think they do a great job of picking exclusives. This is excellent. It's still available, so I don't know if they're planning on doing another run after this one, but if that's something you're interested in, I think 105 bucks is not bad at all. The black mini Natrix. It's kind of neat. I wish these were... <laughs> I saw that pop up, and I was like... Ugh! And I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't... I wasn't ready. I wasn't financially ready for that one, so somebody else snagged it. I saw that a while back. All right. Actually, there's quite a bit more here I, I wanted to share with you guys that I saw on my first scan. A lot of fixed blades. If you're a fixed blade person, there's a lot of really interesting fixed blades on uh, DLT trading. Tons of unique Olamic Cutlery buskers. I know a lot of this stuff is expensive, DLT trading has a lot of really nice expensive stuff, but don't, uh, you know, don't be scared off thinking that that's the only thing here. There definitely are less expensive knives on DLT trading. I just really like to highlight this kind of stuff. Uh, tons of buskers, right? And Olamic likes to do the interesting Cerakote on the hardware. So we're looking at this guy here um, with the uh, uh, orange Cerakote and then the, I guess it's called Dark Wash Rocks handle. Pretty cool. Funny holes. <laughs> it's interesting. That's what they call it. Um, these are U.S. made, and they're your, they are definitely using premium materials. Uh, M390 for the blade steel. Really, really excellent. I've got a busker in hand right now. First time I've handled it, and I love it. Uh, it's pretty rare that Olamic Cutlery does something that I don't like. I've enjoyed them for years, um, and it looks like they are just continuing to bring more and more and more quality to the table. Really cool stuff a healthy supply of buskers. Actually, Olamic Cutlery in general on DLT trading is pretty plentiful. So if you want to look through and see what all they've got, um, this is a very easy website to navigate. Uh, everything is nicely sorted out by brand, so that's cool. Man, Rockstead Nihon ZDP 189, $2,400. Holy cow. Artificial marble handle. That's interesting. Uh, Rockstead always uh, doing the crazy exotic stuff. I've handled one of those. They are excellent, absolutely. More uh, Medford Praetorian Slims. RGT Chris Reeve Clip, uh, if you're interested in switching it up uh, for your, your pocket clip. They do have some interesting things available. Um, actually, I think there's multiple. I, I know I saw some Damascus ones that were sold out a, a ways back, um, but yeah. Uh, if you're looking for the Protec Godfather Operator Series, they have one right here. That's with the tritium insert on the uh, button. I noticed that this is sold out on some other retailer sites. Um, I've got this one here with me. The review is coming. This is excellent. The entire thing is blacked out, and there's no, there are no logos, logos anywhere. The only thing that is not blacked out is the single uh, tritium vial that glows uh, all the time, um, if you're not familiar with tritium, whether or not it doesn't have anything to do with being charged by light. Uh, but, yeah, it glows all the time. It's pretty cool. All right, so here's something that I saw. Um, it's sold out, but I want to make you guys aware of it. The This frag pattern thing that they're doing. Um, this is cool. I would very much like to see. You see this? Look at this. Uh, look at the hardware here. Frag pattern and the new hardware on the Combat Truodon. Thank you, Microtech. Thank you. They're also doing... Now, wait a second. This says Combat Truodon. Is this actually a Combat Truodon or is it a Scarab? Hmm, hmm. 9.53. I wonder if this is... This looks like a Combat Troodon. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> um, other Combat Troodons here. Let's see. These all appear to have the tri-wing screws. See that the profile is very, very similar. Oh, the Combat Troodon and the Scarab are so similar in size now, but I feel like the 
handle. I've got a I've got a scarab two coming, so I'll be able to look at them and and distinguish from that point forward. Uh, natural canvas micarta scales for rekinder knives. These are actually hinderer scales. They are not aftermarket. These are done. So for those of you who you know are big into like if for me if I'm going to customize my hinder, I'm not going to use aftermarket. I'm not going to use parts that are outside of the hinderer ranch. I know a lot of hinderer people are like that. So if you're if you're wondering, yeah, take a look at the other side of the scale so you guys can see these uh, these official scales do have the hinderer logo on the other side. As soon as we can get that switched around, there you go, right there. So these are hinderer official scales, which means they will absolutely 100% meet up perfectly uh, with the internals of your hinderer knife. Not that other custom parts for other knives don't do that, you know. But just nice, you know, peace of mind for people wanting to make sure that that is the case. A couple of pages left with some interesting stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, lots more fixed blades, heretic knives, the manticore. That's something that I need to check out on this channel. If you've been looking for an armor's tool, they've got one in Battle Black. They do have some cold steels left. For, so for those of you trying to grab up uh, cold steel models before, I don't know. I honestly don't know the future of cold steel in the new company, right? But if you're, if you're worried and you want to get the knives grabbed up before they're gone you know or before they're changed which is not official i have no idea i don't speak for anybody it's just it's just me another knife guy wondering what's going to be the future i don't know um yeah there's some cold steel stuff here i think it was on page 10 was the last thing that i wanted to talk about uh more medford where is the model that i was curious about oh yeah that's right these guys uh, the Strider uh, uh, three-quarter AR. Man, this thing is not getting nearly the attention that it deserves. As somebody who owns this knife and somebody who is, I've put this knife on my top 10, my recent top 10 favorite knives of all time. I love this thing. They break in beautifully smooth. They have a few left. This one, uh, the one that I've got is sold out, but if you're looking for PVD, I think this one in particular is beautiful right here. DLC, or this is, I'm sorry, this is PVD coded, S90V. This is an exclusive through DLT Trading. Oversized fasteners, oversized pivots, beautiful. Like, I mean, the way that these are done is just beautiful. These are on phosphor bronze. These are definitely hardcore users. Uh, I love the way that the pocket clip is actually mounted back here, solving the issue that sometimes is the case with other Strider knives. These carry really well. If you've really wanted to EDC an overbuilt knife, but you're always like, ah, they're so bulky and tanky and awkward, these actually carry really well, and they're beautiful. Oh, man, I, I cannot, you know, emphasize enough. And I think the PVD one, you know, because we've got a black pivot, black LBS, satin hardware the contrast here the way that these look is really really nice i'm i'm heavily impressed with these knives and i urge you they are expensive 600 dollars, but if you if you're used to spending money in that price range then you know what to expect right i think these are going to meet your uh, expectations and make you very happy guys i think that's going to be pretty much it for today i kind of i think this is everything that i wanted to show you um, I hope this is entertaining. Uh, I hope that uh, maybe, you know, some of you, for, for a lot of people, this is just general entertainment and, you know, it's just kind of sitting back and looking at new knife stuff. But I really like to do this. I like to make people aware of stuff that is available or that just came out. I think it's fun. Um, like I said, all of this stuff will be linked right down in the description. If I highlighted it, if I really think it's interesting, I will link it right down below. Uh, but you can also scroll through this page and additional pages that I didn't look at if you want to uh, by just clicking the first link. Um, in any case, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.